What's up, people of the internet? Welcome back if you're a subscriber. If you're new, welcome. Today, we're going to look at Avalanche. Um, some of you guys are asking me, how do I set up a, an Avalanche wallet? Uh, actually, none of you guys asked me, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. Uh, and then also, we're going to look at some of the things on Avalanche. Um, in particular, there's actually came across um, Tops. Tops has actually came up and... When I was actually scrolling through the Avalanche ecosystem, I saw Tops, uh, which is like a baseball. Um, well, they do like all sorts of collectibles, right? Uh, baseball cards. Um, I don't know what other stuff. But basically, I, I came across Tops and they had like a, an NFT site. And we're going to look into that as well as we're going to look at Vivi. I actually recently got um, several NFTs off of Vivi. And I honestly think uh, down the road, some of these NFTs can be worth a lot. So. Let's get right into it. So first things first, let's look at Avalanche. Um, most of you guys that watch this channel also watch Elio Trades and Z Alex Becker. Um, so as you saw yesterday, Alex Becker and Elio Trades talk about the Avalanche ecosystem, right? So Avalanche right now has been on a tear last, uh, let me see what the price, uh, price action is. Uh, last 30 days, up 257%. Absolutely incredible so with avalanche um in order to be a part of this ecosystem you're gonna have to connect your metamask to the avalanche network so how do we do that so i'm actually going to link this in the description so in order to do this i'm actually going to do this with you guys so log into metamask click the network drop uh, down okay whatever whatever i've done this before but i'm going to show you guys anyways so in order to do this first step you're going to go to your metamask actually you don't even see my metamask here let me try and drag the screen down there you go so first things first you're going to go to your metamask top right hand corner obviously you know where metamask is next you're going to click on the uh Three dot symbol right here and then you click on expand view so once you click on expand view you're then going to go to up here and go to settings actually you know what let me get myself off the screen here you're gonna go to settings hold on settings okay so then when you go to settings you're gonna go to networks uh, and then click on add network and this is where you type in network name. So let's go back to that site. Network name, Avalanche Network. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Boom. Paste. New RPC URL. So what it's asking is this. So easy. Copy and paste that. Chain ID. Chain ID is... Four three one one four. Paste that. Currency symbol AVAX, right? Yeah, I'll just take that in. And then the block explorer. C chain explorer. Boom. Copy. And do that. Awesome. So then after that, click on save. Boom. So if you go to your MetaMask now, look at that. AVAX. So zero AVAX. So the thing with Avalanche, uh, so right now, if you were trying to do any transactions on the Avalanche network, uh, you do need some AVAX in order to do the transaction. So right now we have zero AVAX, right? Um, one way to do this is to go to a centralized exchange like Binance. So I mean, if I go on CoinGecko, go to Markets, so this is where all, you know, the trading pairs for AVAX, you can get AVAX uh, with USDT on Binance, OKX, um, you know, all these other exchanges. KuCoin, does KuCoin have it? Yes, KuCoin. Um, but um, there is a way, if you use the Avalanche bridge and you send Ethereum over or any, I believe any ERC20 token that's already on the Avalanche system, uh, they're going to give you a free amount of AVAX so you can actually use that to transact. So in this case, let's 
uh, let's go to the Avalanche Bridge. So uh, the first thing is uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer some of our uh, Ethereum ERC20 tokens over to Avalanche. In this case, I want to transfer Ethereum over to Avalanche. And after doing this, you're going to see that we're going to have a small amount of AVAX that they're going to give us so we can use that to transact, okay? So right now, I'm going to leave this in the description as well. Uh, so right now, we're on the Avalanche system, right? So if I go to the MetaMask... Yeah, I'm on MetaMask right now. So we're on, currently on the Avalanche network. Um, you know what? Let me get myself off the screen here. So first thing is right now we're on the Avalanche system. So if I click on switch, we want to go from Ethereum to Avalanche. So switch that. It's going to ask us, do you want to switch the network with your MetaMask here? Switch network. So now this is where we want. We want to go from Ethereum over to Avalanche. So you can see, send more than $75 worth of any token to receive an AVAX airdrop. And this is this is what we want, right? Instead of trying to go to a centralized exchange and uh, you know buying AVAX and then sending it over to our AVAX wallet, we can just do this. So since we do have some since we do have some Ethereum in this wallet, I believe, I mean it's only a small amount, 0.05. $194. Good. So I do have enough. So let's do this. Uh, so if I go to Ethereum and let's say 0 0.03, that should be enough. So 0 0.03 transfer gas fee is only, let me move this over. Oops. So gas fee is only seven dollars. So that's not bad at all. That's good. So confirm. confirm. Give it some time to do this. Finally confirmed. Okay. So now, oh, so that was just to approve, I guess. Uh, now it wants us to pay another. 566 so confirm cool now this is what we want so waiting for confirmation so right now as you see we are sending a hundred and two dollars over to the avalanche network so we will get a small amount of avax to uh, play around with once we're over there. Okay. Cool. So that took about cool. So that took about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so as soon as it went through that, it takes us to this page automatically or so. Yeah, it took about 11 minutes. Gas fee it was 586, but we also paid like seven bucks before that to approve the transaction, I believe. Uh, so look at how slow Ethereum is. It took 11 minutes to confirm and then 15 seconds on the Avalanche network. Okay. So let's see if we have any money in our Avalanche wallet, right? Sorry, we're not on the Avalanche network. So let's switch over to Avalanche network. I'll get myself off the screen here. So again, click on MetaMask, boom. Draw, so drop down menu here where it says Ethereum mainnet. You wanna to go to Avalanche network. And look at that, we got 0 0.1 AVAX. So we can definitely do something. Let's say uh, if you wanna do a swap on Pangolin, which is their uh, one of their decentralized exchanges. Um, yeah, you can definitely pay any transactions fee with a small amount of AVAX, okay? Um, but yeah, that is all I wanna show you in terms of getting you all set up with the Avalanche network. Um, I know Elio Trades uh, gave out some very good uh, altcoins yesterday that did very well. Um, so let's see here. Let's go on Coin Gecko. Where are some of the coins he said yesterday? Bum 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 bum. Joe, yeah, Joe was one that was pretty big and had a big pop. Now, Joe, oh my God, Joe went up 7,500% in the last 30 days. Can you imagine if you were one of the early birds back here? Oh my God, this was not even that long ago. This was August 18th, 17th around there, and then bam. 
But let's see, if we go to Joe and go to markets, sorry, you can't even see that. <laughs> there we go. If you go to Joe and go to markets, traders. So yeah, you can see that it's on the Pangolin um, exchange, but it's also on Trader Joe. So let's go here, Trader Joe. So let's see here, get myself off the screen again. So wrapped AVAX. I mean, we have we have some AVAX here. Zero point zero five. We have zero point. Yeah. So connect wallet. MetaMask. Connect. Price impact too high. I guess we're gonna have to. Uh, Oh yes, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. I wonder if we can actually trade Ethereum for Joe. <laughs> Not enough liquidity. Too e-liquid for this trade. So I guess we do have to convert it to wrapped AVAX. So um, I wonder if, hold on. Does this work? Yes, it does. <laughs> approve weth.e. So let's see, approve that. Uh, let's see how much the transaction fees are. The transaction fees, as you can see, only 26 cents, right? Which is 0 0.004 AVAX. Confirm. Mm, fast confirmation. Nice. And now we can actually, you know, trade or swap our... Uh, wrapped ETH into Joe, which gives us 45 Joe. The price impact is less than 0.01%, so that's good. Okay, so then we go to swap. Confirm swap. Let's see how much the transaction fees here are. Again, only, what, 0.017 AVAX. Transaction submitted. Confirmation. Confirm transaction. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. Nice. Swap 0.029 WE for 45 Joes. 45 Joes. So there we go. Showed up. So let's say, hey, I don't want my Joes anymore, right? So I'm going to wrap it. Uh, I'm going to swap it for uh, Ethereum again. Or let me see if we can actually put it into wrapped. Is it AVAX? Wrapped AVAX? Yeah, I can swap it for AVAX. There we go. So let's say uh, approve Joe. Again, 36 cents. We have enough AVAX for that. Sorry, guys. If you guys are pretty experienced with uh, crypto, then it's probably pretty boring for you, but. I know a lot of you guys are new, so I'm definitely doing this for you guys just to show you how to navigate around the uh, the ecosystem here on AVAX. Um, so let's say if I want to swap Joe for AVAX. Price impact is less than 0.01%. That's what you want. Okay, so that uh, that is it. So that just approved. Now I can swap my Joes because I don't want my Joes anymore. Swap it to 1.63 AVAX. Swap. Confirm. Swap. So yeah, guys, that's basically what... Uh, just wanted to show you that. Um... So with me just showing you guys how to set up... Uh, the MetaMask with your Avalanche um, wallet, or sorry, setting up, yeah, setting up MetaMask with Avalanche, and then doing some swaps on, you know, like yesterday, Elio Trades was talking about Joe, uh, so therefore, yeah, you can definitely buy Joe. Obviously, some of you guys who already know this, you jumped in early, and you're probably writing up uh, the gains from yesterday, right? But some of you guys who are trying, or you know, having trouble setting up MetaMask with Avalanche, hopefully this video can help you. Um, but yes, moving on, 
So let's look at the Avalanche ecosystem. And by looking at the Avalanche ecosystem, yeah, let's look at this here. I got so much. Let me close some of my pop-ups here on my, uh, my other tabs. So this is the Avalanche uh, web page. Blazingly fast, low cost, and eco-friendly. I can definitely say that's true after doing some swaps there on Joe. So let's look at some of the uh, ecos, uh, some of the apps here. View the Avalanche ecosystem. Click on that. So yeah, I was just looking at the Avalanche ecosystem last night or yesterday, and um, yeah, some of the projects are here, like Alliance Block. I know Elio Trades talked about Alliance Block like a few months ago. Um, I mean, there's some projects here that I have seen that, you know, some other people were talking about many months ago. Uh, let me see here. Cartesi. I know BitBoy talked about that project. Um, Covalent. I've heard of that one. Copper. CyberFi. I've heard of that. I actually had some CyberFi at one point. Stupid of me to sell it around three, four dollars, and then it went up all the like all the way to like I don't know, 60, 70 bucks. It was insane. <laughs> um, what else here? FTX, we know what FTX is. Frontier, yeah, I know that one. Happy, I've heard of that one. Uh, what else do we have here? Orion Protocol, heard of that one. Pangolin, we got the Decentralized Exchange. Paraswap, oh, I remember talking about that yesterday or in the last video where a possible airdrop might be in the cards, right? <laughs> if you do some swaps with Paraswap. Looks like they're moving over to Avalanche or integrating with Avalanche. Um, refinance, I knew that was pretty popular a few months ago. Router Protocol, heard of that one too. Shopping dia, dia, shopping dot io. Uh, I know Journey Crypto and uh, Alex Becker talked about that project uh, a few months ago too. Do, do, do sushi Swap. I know Elio Trades loves Sushi Swap. The Graph, a very popular one too. And yes, yesterday we looked. At, I looked at this one. Grabbed my eye. The Tops NFT. I was like, whoa, Tops. Tops is actually integrating with Avalanche. So we go to Tops NFT. And and this is what it is here. Now, I haven't been uh, following baseball at all for the past two years because with COVID and stuff like that. I, I just don't find it exciting watching it right now. Um, but yeah, so let's look at this shop now. So this is the Tops NFT. And they, they are actually built on top of Avalanche, which is absolutely, absolutely pretty cool. Um... Now, I also looked at Tops as well. They were actually on the Wax blockchain. I'm not sure uh, what happened there. I, I, I mean, I was just scrolling through YouTube videos about Tops NFT yesterday, and I saw some videos of Tops NFT that was posted four months ago, and they were released on the Wax blockchain. So I'm not sure why. I don't know if this is. I don't know why they're migrated to Avalanche. I'm not sure what the what the deal is there. Um, but if someone knows, leave a uh, comment in the uh, in the comment section. But yeah, Tops is built on the Avalanche ecosystem. Uh, so first things first, you do need to sign up with them, and I did sign up with them, so I'll show you. So if you go to their marketplace here, so if some of you guys are big baseball guys. I mean, this is definitely up your alley. I, I jumped into NBA Top Shot like uh, before it actually went huge. I uh, I know like, was it last year? I believe, yeah, it was last year. I got into NBA Top Shot around October uh, when they first launched. And I think I had only purchased like two packs for like 50 bucks. And, um, you know, I opened it, saw some cards that, uh, you know, I got like a James Harden card, Giannis Attentacupo card. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, I had some some basketball players that were pretty popular, 
And, uh, you know, I just left it there for four months. And then four months later, um, you know, people I saw people were talking about NBA, NBA Top Shots on Twitter. Uh, people were talking about NBA Top Shots on YouTube. And I was like, wow, what's going on here? So then I go back to my NBA Top Shot uh, collection. And some of those cards, I actually sold like a James Harden card. It was only a common tier card for like 800 bucks. Uh, Giannis card for like twelve hundred dollars. Um, yeah, so I mean, my my fifty dollars I paid for two packs ended up giving me like four thousand dollars. I mean, I was it was an absolutely crazy R ROI there, and I, I think a LeBron James card sold for like two hundred thousand uh, dollars at one point too. So if you go to NBA Top Shot here, sorry, let's go NBA Top Shot. NBA Top Shot. Let's see. Marketplace. One great thing about NBA Top Shot is that you can actually buy some of these moments with crypto now. I know back then, like, you couldn't even do that. You just had to buy with a credit card. Or you actually had to top up your wallet with uh, with your with your crypto. Um, let's see. LeBron James. Let's see. Type in LeBron James. Yeah, so LeBron James. Yes, there was one card I remember at the time. Where is it here? Is it this one? <laughs> this one's listed on sale for a million bucks. One million dollars. So let's see, view top sales history. Yeah, I saw that. $208,000, February 22nd. Uh, yeah, February 22nd. But you know what? <laughs> One thing I regret back then was when, yeah, when I was in NBA Top Shot back then, early. I mean, yeah, some the card was what September, October. Yeah, I got an NBA Top Shot around here, October, and it was like four thousand dollars at that time. I could have bought a card for four thousand bucks. I mean, yeah, and it could have got me two hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars here, right? And that's why I want to go back to the uh, to the Tops Baseball NFT collection, right? Where some of these players. Some of these rising stars, I mean, they might be a few thousand dollars, but can you imagine what they'd be worth, like, you know, a few months down the road, right? Um, or even a year from now or a few years from now. So I uh, I decided to jump into the rabbit hole here and got some cards, bought like a premium pack, uh, a standard pack. Uh, so let's see here, MLB Inception. I'm a big Blue Jays fan. I love Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, his dad was a great player as well. Played for the Montreal Expos. I remember watching him play back when I was a little kid. Uh, so Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I purchased like a rare card for like 80 bucks or so. But now it's like, what, $65 the cheapest one right now. You got a Vladimir Guerrero. What, I'll get myself off the screen here so you guys can see better. Um, Vladimir Guerrero. Whoop. So there's... Like, like this card right here is ten thousand dollars. Five were minted. Ten thousand dollars. I mean, you can just. I mean, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is a great player. Obviously, he's not on the same level as LeBron James in terms of uh, being famous and being known around the world, right? But uh, I mean, and Vladimir is still young. I think the guy's still twenty-two or something. How old is he, Vladimir Guerrero? 23, I believe. I think it was 23. Age. 22, 20, 22. Okay. 22 years old. Guy is still young. Still young. You can even consider this to be, uh, you know, what when he gets better, you know, obviously, I think he's going to be a great player. And he's, he is a great player already. Um, but can you imagine if, you know, he has a very solid career for the rest of his, you know, for the next 10 years or so? Can you imagine the value of this card? Obviously, I'm speculating here, but I mean, ten thousand dollars could be worth I don't know, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. You know, you never know. Um, 
But let's look at my collection. So I do have a, a premium pack. I do have a premium pack. Uh, and then I also opened a standard pack and I got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rare card, which is awesome. I purchased this one here off the secondary market. Uh, and then I got some other players here, which, uh, like I said, I haven't been following baseball in the last two years. So some of these guys, I don't even know, to be honest. So let's do this. I do have a premium pack and I was actually going to save it for, to open on screen on camera. So let's do this and, uh, let's see. I believe a premium pack, they give you 25 NFTs. Uh, let's go back here. So the standard pack, I, I believe they give you five NFTs and then you're guaranteed at least one rare or better NFT collectible in each pack. Uh, and then the premium pack, they give you 25, I believe. I read somewhere it's 25 here. Yeah, contains 25 NFTs, at least one super rare or better NFT collectible in each pack. So the 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 uh, the rarity tier is, I believe, it's common, uncommon, um, rare, then super rare, epic, and then legendary. So let's do this. Let's open my pack, premium pack. Open. I think the cheapest premium pack right now in the secondary market is like $320. Originally, it was like $100 when it was on sale. So people are flipping this and selling the packs at three times the price, which is pretty crazy. But you never know. When you open these packs, you might get a super, super duper rare card, right? So let's do this. Click pack to open. All right, Tops Inception. Let's do this. Tyler Stevenson, mint number 26 of 85. Ooh, super rare. So this is our first sub card is a super rare. Uh, looks like this guy's a catcher. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't know much of these players that are out nowadays. Uh, hold on here. Let me close this. Accept all cookies or reject all? All right, so next, Nate Pearson, Blue Jays, White Rookie and Future Phenom. Oh, it's a rare card. Nice. Okay. Juan Soto, Common Card. Paul Goldschmidt, Common, 152 of 80, 891. Oh, we got another rare. Eloy y Jimenez. Hope I said that right. Jimenez. <laughs> Christian Pache. Patch. I don't know how to say that name. <laughs> rare. Oh, I'm getting a lot of rare cards here. This is awesome. Another rare. Enoli Paradis. Paradis. <laughs> I'm butchering these names bad. I, I'd be a terrible announcer if I try to pronounce these names. <laughs> Wits. Merrifield. Common. Sterling Sharp. Another rare card. Wow. I'm getting a lot of rare cards here. Alec. Boom. 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 <laughs> boom. Boom. Common. <laughs> Pete Alonzo, super rare card. Nice. Mint 26 of 85. Eloy Jimenez, common. Another rare. Kiebert Ruiz. Ruiz. <laughs> Jose, oh, Jesus Sanchez. Jesus Sanchez, uncommon. Anthony Rendon, common. George Solar, common. Whit Merrifield, uncommon. Alex Bregman, uncommon. Cody Bellinger, uncommon. Ian Anderson, rare. Justin Verlander, oh, this guy. Yeah, I, I know this guy. <laughs> Sixto Sanchez, rare. Josh Bell, common. Mike Trout, there we go. That's a big time player right there. Common. George Solar, common. So, damn, look at that. 
you got 25 cards. Uh, I think we got two super rare cards, right? Two super rare cards. How many rares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rare cards and two super rare cards in this premium pack. Damn, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So my collection just grew by 25 cards. Bam. Nice. Got Mike Trout. It's only common, though. Um, yeah. How do you pronounce this? Eloy Jimenez. Let me let me play this. Eloy Jimenez. Pronunciation. <laughs> How to pronounce Eloy Jimenez? Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Jimenez, Jimenez. All right, Elo Jimenez. Okay, Jimenez. Okay, got it. <laughs> Is it Jimenez? Let me see. Jimenez. Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. 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 Okay, Eloy Jimenez. Eloy Jimenez. Okay, awesome. Got it. Eloy Jimenez. All right. Awesome. So I wonder how much he's going for on the secondary market here. So if I click on this, 32 listings, list for sale. Um, how much is he going for? $7.99 is the... Ch okay. So I guess rare is not really that rare. I mean, it also depends on the player, that you know, if they're really good or not. Let's see Mike, Mike, Tr Mike Trout. $17.99. So even a Mike Trout... Trout Common is worth more than Eloy Jimenez, rare. Ian Anderson, rare. Let's see how much this one is. $449. Come on, boys. <laughs> what else? Let me see the super rare, like Pete Alonzo. 45 bucks. Okay, there we go. There we go. We gotta try and break even here. I'm buying this premium pack, right? <laughs> Where's the other super rare? Tyler Stevenson, the catcher. Fifty dollars. Okay, so maybe I'm I'm in the hole here. <laughs> I'm in the hole. I don't know. But anyways, I mean these cards could be worth something more than what they are now, right? So you never know. But yeah, I decided to, you know, just to play the speculation game, you know. You know, I was very successful with NBA Top Shots when I got in early, so I'm going to try and do the same thing with the Tops baseball cards, right? So, oh, the other thing is when you are buying stuff, a very important point that I want to mention is that even though I showed you guys how to set up the, the Avalanche wallet with MetaMask, right? The one thing I do not like about the uh, Tops NFT is right now, if you try to buy something, you need a credit card. There's just no other way around it. So if I try to buy like a standard pack right now, select and buy uh sort price to low right now this one's the cheapest one buy for 39 dollars so yeah it's asking uh for credit card right obviously i don't want to show you guys my credit card number but uh yeah card card purchases limit cannot exceed ten thousand dollars per week per card so yeah, I mean, some cards are worth more than ten thousand dollars on the market. I mean, this is something they need to fix or get improved on, right? To buy, and this stuff, I, I, I don't even know. Like, you need to set up a wire wallet, um, but I'm not. I think the limitation is you have to be like an American business or Australian business or something. So I couldn't even set that up. So yeah, that that was. So that is something I do not like about the Tops NFT uh, platform right now. It's just uh, you can't. Uh, the only thing is you can buy with a credit card. So yeah, that is it with Tops NFTs. Cool. All right. So the last thing I want to talk about is VV. So let's first look at Matty from DCL Blogger. I love this dude, man. He knows so much about NFTs. <laughs> Highly recommend you go follow him. Anyways, what he says that... Uh, so the weekend... So these are some of the NFTs that he think will go nuts. 
Uh, so the weekend art on Nifty Gateway, if they announce utility, merge free tickets slash show, etc. Uh, Dota 2 OG rings, if Dota slash OG do more in the, in the NFT space. Uh, but the one that really caught my eye is Marvel Comics on Vivi, if they pour it to OpenSea. So we're going to look at some of the uh, stuff on Vivi. So let me get my phone here and we're going to show you on the screen. All righty then. So, so with Vivi, um, so if you guys aren't familiar, um, I'm sure some of you guys are definitely familiar with Vivi. Uh, but if you're not, so Vivi, uh, they do uh, collectibles and comics um, of uh, Marvel. Uh, I think, yeah, Marvel has their comics released on Vivi. Uh, some of these very old school, the original Marvel comics, right? So here, if I go to... Hope you guys can see that it's a little bit small i guess right so up here where it says digital collectibles right so you're going to click on that go to digital comics and these are some of the comics uh that are i mean obviously the sale is done and all, all of it is sold out so you can only buy comics on the secondary market um yeah so some of these comics are sold out Actually, sorry guys, what you want to do is you want to go to the marketplace, which is down here. So you go to market, so click on that. When you click on market down here, uh, it takes you to the marketplace. And up here where it says comics, so click here where it says comics. And so, so these are the comics that are on the VV, or sorry, on the marketplace right now, okay? So you got Marvel's one. So if I click on Marvel's one, uh, so right now the cheapest one is 680. So 680 gems, which is, so remember one gem is equal to $1 on VV. So the timeless classic that changed the way we look at Marvel superheroes. Amazing Spider-Man number one. So this one is $15. This one is a common. There's 48,000 editions. With, okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I actually purchased this one, the Marvel's One Secret Rare. Uh, so right now, the cheapest one right now is $1,000. Is it a thousand dollars? Marvels. Oh, it's a thousand ninety nine now. Thousand ninety nine. Oof! I purchased one this morning for like nine hundred seventy five. So, floor price is rising right now. All right, so let's uh, look at my comic collection that I got earlier today. So, some of the comics I have is the Incredible Hulk. Uh, so, these are a lot of commons, but I did pick up a Secret Rare Marvels number one. Uh, so this one, as you can see, you can obviously read the comics as well. It's just not a JPEG, right? It's not just a JPEG. <laughs> but you can definitely read the comics. Um, it's a little slow loading up right now. Come on, phone. There we go. There we go. But the cool thing about this is that you also got the augmented reality feature as well. So I don't know how bad this is going to turn out, but right now the phone and the this you know the uh, you know the synchronization between the phone and the computer screen is just kind of laggy right now so i don't know if it'll show up properly but if i click on ar let's see if this actually turns out well or not so right now we're that's my laptop right there tap to place let's see put it right here let's see if that actually works there oh so there we go guys you see that so the comic is a little slow loading up. That's for some odd reason. It's showing perfectly fine on my phone, but to synchronize, uh, to display to the computer screen, it's a little bit of a lag. But you can see how... Let's see here. Trying to move in a little bit closer, a different angle. You can see how the comic's kind of like floating in space, right? Hopefully you guys can see this pretty well. 
But look at that. That's actually pretty cool, guys. And then I can flip the page. Right? Hopefully you can flip. There we go. You saw that? I'm going to flip the page. It's a little bit of a lag. But believe me, guys, this is better in person. I highly recommend if you guys haven't downloaded the VV app. I mean, you know, it's just even just to buy like a $10 comic, right? If you guys don't have that much money um, to start off with, right? Just to buy the uh, the common editions. And uh, just to play around with it. It's actually pretty damn cool. It's actually pretty damn cool. So let's see here. But yeah, going back uh, to what I was saying, um, with Vivi, I do find a lot of the collectibles and the comics, um, in terms of the rarity, I find the secret rare, the ones that hold their value and actually perform very well in terms of uh, return on investment. So if I go to my uh, collectibles here, so some these are some of the collectibles that I've been collecting. I don't have much compared to some of these VV diehards, <laughs> but you know, I picked up a Captain America rare, Spider-Man rare, uncommon. I even got the Star Trek there. I got Batman uncommon. But looking at the the Captain America series, right? So the Captain America, um, like I was saying, the secret rare is the one that's been holding their value the best. So originally the Captain America. Uh, when it was on sale, sold for 400 gems, which is $400. And right now on the secondary market, the cheapest one right now, the floor price is 750 So right now you're almost at a 2x for that. Uh, but if you look at other uh, rare rarities, uh, like the Ultra Rare, $250 was the original sale price on launch. And right now it's at 259 So just like barely floating above the uh, original price. Uh, I got the rare, and right now it's not doing too hot. <laughs> it's not doing too hot. Uh, originally, four hundred or sorry, not four. One hundred dollars, one hundred gems was the original sale price, right? And looking at the secondary market right now, the cheapest one, the floor price is fifty six forty nine. So it's actually like down fifty percent, basically. Um, and then you look at the common. The common actually hasn't even sold out yet. You can still buy on the uh, original BB platform, but on the secondary market, people are selling at a loss. Thirty-five sixty-five is the floor price, right? So, and also uh, looking at Spider-Man is another example. The Spider-Man drop. Where's the Spider-Man? Spider-Man drop. This one was the very first Marvel NFT drop. Uh, so I got a rare. Rare was $100 originally. Sale price right now on the secondary market is $85. So down a little bit. Uh, Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare is actually not doing too bad. 250 gems. Uh, the Ultra Rare, 488. So almost a 2x, right? And But the Secret Rare. The Secret Rare is where the value is here. Because the just the amount of additions, right? I think it's 1,000 additions. 400 gems was the original one, uh, original price, and right now on the secondary market is trading at 2.3k, uh, 2.3k, right? So 23.49 is the original sale or the uh, secondary market. So, and let's look at uh, comics here. Digital comics or markets comics. I want to show you the uh, the the Marvel, the very first Marvel comic, um, secret rare edition, and how much it's going for on the secondary market. It's absolutely insane. Secret rare. Where are you? Secret rare. Secret rare. Secret rare. Are you down here somewhere? Yeah. Here we go. Marvel Comics number one. So the first Marvel comic ever, right? The one that started it all in 1939. $16,300. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. But you can also get the common edition of that comic here uh, for $34.75. So, yeah, guys. That's uh, that's all I want to say for today. This video has gone on for way too long. Let me close this out. Boom. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, so this video has gone on for way too long, guys. I highly recommend check out Vivi. 
Um, I think uh, down the road, things can be very, uh, very lucrative if you uh, invest early. Obviously, in any investment, if you guys are early, then then that's good, right? Um, and also with Ecomi, I'm hearing rumors, uh, news, actually news, that they're going to move over to Mutable X, which is on the Ethereum chain, right? So who knows? Maybe you can trade VV collectibles on OpenSea. That's just uh, speculation, right? So anyways, I'll just leave it at that. If you guys like the video, or if you guys like the content, like the video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.